Welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. She's very sad. Her quail must go outside today. <laughs> Hard transition. We just went to yeah. the library yeah. and they picked out some books to get. Can yeah, I show you that? Your first Pokemon. Pick your own path. <laughs> What'd you get, Kaden? Uh, this. <laughs> the son of Neptune. Hey, we got Bramble and Maggie. That's a cute one. Braggy. And Emma got Snow Bear. Emma says, I gotta show. I gotta show. Show what you got. Snow bear. Okay. <laughs> what is going on with your little bear? <laughs> it's hanging on. Which one are you starting with? Pokemon one? Mm -hmm. Oh! And it's reading his book! Look at book! That's so cute! <laughs> he likes it. It's fuzzy, the little bear. <laughs> The quail have started to stink, so we are moving them outside today. Haley's a little upset about it. <laughs> I know I've heard people say that you can raise quail in your house, but I don't know. I Maybe we just have too many. We have 10 in this Tupperware, and I have to change their bedding like twice a day. It just starts smelling so bad. So uh, I'm hoping that moving them out to the garage with their adult... Well, I wanted to wait to do this till they were eight weeks old. They're four weeks old now, but I'm hoping that moving them out there that there's more airflow, they're on um, wire floor, so their poop can fall through and it won't be as stinky. So they're not stinky in the garage, but we only have three quail in one side and four quail in the other side. So I don't know if adding ten is going to make it stinkier out there <laughs> for the garage, but... At least in the garage, it's kind of more outside. And then as soon as the weather warms up, we'll be moving them back outside next to the garden. Ready to do this? Okay. Hi, Mommy. Why do we need that lamp, the heat lamp? Yeah, I'm gonna be used to being cold at night. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't get your head in that one. I'm only getting your chickens right now. Guys, it's a little bumpy. Why don't you go stand over by the door? Okay. No, that door over there. This. I guess we can open the door. <coughs> I'm just gonna open it from the inside. Okay.
There's those guys. How are you guys doing? Okay. Wait, so how are we gonna do this, Mommy? Yeah, they're jumpers. One's escaped a lot. I think it's that one over there, right there in front of us. Not as this man. It's that one. Okay, we are going to need to put in one of the painted toenails first. Okay, so pause it. All right. <clears throat> Can you find it? Yeah. Let's show you that it's pretty crowded in there. Is that it? No. No. Um. Whew, that was hard to find. <laughs> so that's the only one that goes in this side. The rest all hatched from the celadon eggs. And he says, oh, we're just going to put this in. These guys always knock out all their hay, so. I know. <laughs> and one of them must be molting. I came in here and there were like a bunch of feathers on the ground and I was worried that one of them died or something, but <laughs> I just lost a bunch of feathers all at once. Careful, here. How many? Seventeen. Yep, we have seventeen That's now. Amazing. We're gonna get a lot of eggs when these guys start hatching. And when they start laying eggs, you think we'll get a lot? Yeah. Totally. We'll have to come out here and look at all the females now. And males. We might bring the males back inside if there's fighting. Lucky, this one that we put over here, I think, is a female. So she should be a happy bird. The other project I'm going to be doing today is repotting some pepper plants. So this pepper plant is hot banana pepper. And it's in such a tiny pot. I got it at Tractor Supply at the very end of the season. And I thought I'll try and overwinter it with my other ones. I want to put this Thai hot pepper in a bigger pot. And this pepper in a bigger pot. And this pepper. 
So Santaka and Paseo Bahio. And this one is actually putting on a lot of peppers. That's kind of cool. I wasn't sure if they would do this inside. So it's kind of cool that I'm getting some peppers in the winter. And even though I don't have a greenhouse, it's still working out. All right, today I am repotting some pepper plants and it's actually a really nice day outside and I consider doing this outside, but um, <clears throat> I just, I'm doing it in the plant room. So uh, first pepper I'm going to repot is this banana pepper that I saved from, I didn't save, I guess I saved it, from Tractor Supply at the very end of the season. I bought a couple of pepper plants, this one, and a, a bell pepper plant back there. And the bell pepper plant isn't a big enough pot, it doesn't need to be repotted. But I'm going to replant this banana pepper. And it's actually putting off some flowers too. So I've just been letting them put off their flowers and produce peppers. Over the winter, I have gotten four jalapenos off of my little jalapeno plant so and there's two more on here so it's kind of exciting this has been a really exciting project that actually worked I um, brought in my pepper plants and instead of trimming them all the way down because all the videos I saw said to trim them all the way down and prune them back and put them in a cold room to overwinter them and I thought well what would be the problem with putting them in a warm room and letting them grow <laughs> and, and I did that and they worked really it worked really good they grew and actually are producing peppers and it is January so it's kind of cool I'm getting I'm sure they don't have the nutritional value as if they would be outside getting like real vitamin D and everything and they're actually not under plant lights I do have two really bright windows in this room though and so it gets the morning sun and the evening sun so this room is really really bright and I went ahead and put a heater in here so it stays around 78 degrees Fahrenheit that's very hot I know it's about 78 degrees Fahrenheit in this room and I did that for the ladybugs and um I I don't know where the ladybugs went honestly I think they might have like snuck out somehow because I've only seen, I saw one ladybug yesterday, and I'm like a little bit sad about that because I am afraid the aphid population will come back, but I'm being real diligent. Uh, these plants are looking really good. I found a couple of aphids on my lavender, and I squished them, uh, but other than that, everything is looking okay. So, all right, time to get to planting. First one I'm starting with, like I said, is this banana pepper. and put the plant in right now. I know there still needs to be some more dirt built up around up here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the plant in.
my Thai hot pepper plant. soil was frozen it's really I've got to really um, crunch it up because it's really stuck together so that's what I'm doing loosening up the soil for the this pepper now again same thing I'm just going to make my hole right here even though I'm I'm not filling these pots all the way up they're quite big pots and if I need to, I'll repot when I get more potting soil, but I bought kind of small bags, so I'm really wanting to get these two for sure, and then my jalapeno plant really needs a new pot, and the Paseo Bajo. Really, I could see where they'll benefit from a new pot. Jalapeno plant. And it's right here and it's grown very tall, but it definitely needs a bigger pot for its roots. So I have an even larger pot. I can get it. Come on. I have an even larger pot than what I used for the Thai hot and the um, banana pepper. So it's just a lot taller and it should give more space for the roots.
serrano pepper. I really want to get this one in a bigger pot today. I'm going to go for one of the smaller, bigger pots though. It'll still be much bigger than the pot it's in. Did I say Serrano? I meant Santaka. I don't know what I said. <clears throat> Whoa, that one was really messy. I'm going to show you the roots. Okay, you go in there. Turn it. I made a huge mess. This is the one I'm doing. vacuum after it. bushy this little plant is. It has, it's just really compact and bushy. I think it's really cute. My last plant for the day, <clears throat> I had put it in a bucket because I didn't have any pots at the time. So it's going to get a real pot today. I'm going to use my other very large pot for this plant. It is much taller, so should be very useful. take them to my kitchen sink to give them a good watering especially this Paseo Bajo and is looking a little bit thirsty um, this one just recently put on so many flowers and they are all turning into peppers so I'm excited because I didn't get to taste these during the season it didn't produce so I'm excited to taste these peppers and see how spicy they are and the Thai hot is very very spicy we did get to taste this one during the season it's just kind of a specialty pepper and I wanted to keep it over winter. And the Santaka, also very, very spicy. Um, it's also putting on a whole bunch of peppers right now. And then this hot banana pepper. I haven't tasted this one's peppers, but I really do like the flavor of the hot banana pepper. So I'm excited that I found this one at Tractor Supply and it didn't die. And then my jalapeno. And these have been so yummy this winter. And it is just getting so tall. I am thinking about trimming this one's top off so that it will become more bushy. Uh, bushy and compact. Like, I love how bushy this little plant is. And 
This plant is also real bushy. It's not shooting straight up. It's bushing out. I kind of want all my peppers to be more bushy like that. So there's my experiment. It's going well. It's been a couple of hours since we put the quail out here in the garage. So I'm gonna come and check on them. Actually a very warm day, I'm in a t-shirt. The wind is picking up a little bit and it's supposed to get a little bit chillier tonight, but that's why I picked today to put them out. Yesterday would have, would have been even better because yesterday was warm. My animal's water wasn't even frozen this morning, so it was a warm day yesterday and a warm night. So I'm a little bummed I didn't put the quail out last night, but I just didn't get a chance to. So today is a good, it's also kind of nice to put them in. It's nice to put them in the garage in the daytime when I'm awake and can come and check on them. So let's see how they're doing. All right, and my plan is to just, right now, they're all still on Game Bird Starter, so I'm going to switch the adults over to Game Bird Starter, and I think some of them are molting anyway, so they really like this box. They like to hide in it. I just saw one jump in. Oh, they look like they're doing really, really well. It's definitely chillier out here than they're used to. It's definitely chillier out here than they're used to, but... Looks like they're all getting along just fine. And you can see these much smaller ones are the babies. So they're only four weeks old. And like I had said, I was hoping to keep them inside until they were eight weeks old, but... They are just too stinky to keep in the house. I really... I can't keep them as clean as they'll be out here. They'll be cleaner out here where it's open and fresh air. So I think it'll be a lot healthier for, for them all. And we'll come out here tomorrow and I'll show you which ones I think are males and which ones are females. I might take the four males out and bring them back in the house. Four won't be too bad to have in the house, opposed to ten. And then we'll just raise them and get them ready to grow out. So here's the baby on this side. And she is a girl, I'm excited about that. And there are two males over here though, so we are gonna have to cull one of them. I wasn't sure, and now I'm pretty sure. So, pretty sure this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a male. Yeah, that's a male, and that other big one that's behind there is also a male, so. Or I think it might be the dark one. I don't know though, but I think they're molting. Look at, their feathers look so so crazy right now. And there was a huge pile of feathers on the ground. I also have to clean this out this weekend too. But, wow, well, looks like everybody's doing really well. I am just so excited with these projects, the quail project and the pepper project, the overwintering the peppers in the house. I'm so happy that it worked out well and that um, winter just gets me down. So it's kind of nice to have fresh peppers that you would normally only have in the summer. And it was really fun to hatch some baby quail and be able to have them in the house for a little while. But like I said, they're too stinky now. They've got to go outside. So, and all the chickens are doing well. The run chicken door that we received from run chicken, the automatic chicken door is amazing. It has been so nice when those coyotes came and got two of the ducks. None of the chickens were injured. They were all safe. So it's really, really such a cool thing. So now I do put the chickens in the chicken coop every night on the other side. So, um, I mean, it's a little tedious, but I just don't want to lose any more ducks to coyotes. It was such a bummer that that happened again. So, um, yeah, well, thank you so much for watching our video and hanging out with us today. Hope that you enjoyed watching putting the quail out, and repotting all those pepper plants. And ah, oh, like I said, I'm just so excited with how many peppers they're growing. And as I was in there, I actually did find about five ladybugs. So I think they're just hiding. I know that 
the room gets cold at night, so I know they don't, they, you know, go to sleep and don't come out until it's a certain temperature. So maybe that's what's happening. Maybe they're all still in there. I just, I don't know. We released like hundreds in there. And so I can't believe that there's only like five now. So it's kind of crazy. Anyway, if you haven't done so already, we would invite you to please subscribe to our channel. And if you're liking our content, please hit the thumbs up for us. We appreciate that. And we're so thankful for all the new subscribers that we have. We appreciate it. And we are getting to know you and we're excited to just get to know you through social media. All right. Have a great day. Bye.